Hello everyone, I hope you're well. My name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot and this is um, a pick a card for Tuesday the 24th of January. So pile number one is the Blue Appetite, pile number two is the Amazonite and pile number three is the Pink Rhodochrosite. So I will just give you a second to choose your pile and obviously if you want more time, you know, you can pause the video. Okay, so move that out of the way. So that's number three, number two, and pile number one. You guys with a blue appetite. So you have, oh wow, you have the sun. Oh, something's gonna make you very happy. Oh my god. You have the ace of cups, you have the ten of swords, and you have the ace of pentacles. Oh my god. Okay. So you have something new coming in here, like new love, could also be a new job. Um, it depends, you know, kind of what you've been manifesting, because the blue stone is all about, um, they're crystals, they're minerals, Marie. <laughs> they're not rocks, they're, they're minerals. Um, you know, the blue appetite is all about manifestation, so whatever it is you've been trying to manifest, um, it's, you know, that's what it is here. But it's something that's going to make you really, really happy with the sun. Um, it could be a Leo coming towards you, it doesn't have to be. Um, but with the Ten of Swords, something has ended, okay, so that something new can begin. And, and here it is. So, you know, you could have left a job um, and you've got this new job offer coming in, or like, this could be you kind of finally releasing a past relationship, you know, finally like getting the claws out and then there's this new person that comes in, okay? So pile number one, short and sweet, that was your reading. Thank you so much for watching and as always, I wish you many blessings, uh, love and light. Pile number two, you have the Amazonites. You only have two cards, you have uh, the King of Cups, that focused. The King of Cups and the Ace of Swords. So there's some kind of um, news or breakthrough coming in from, it could be from a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Libra. You could be about to hear from this person. Um, yeah, um, it could also be about you might be hearing like if you've been, if you've been waiting to hear back about like news from some kind of creative venture or like healthcare or in spirituality or something like that like if that's what you've been focused on um there could be a breakthrough in that as well but i think probably for most of you this is like news coming in from like i said a water sign or a libra um could also be though like if you've been waiting for if you've been waiting to hear back about a job in like um charity work or healthcare like I said or spirituality or arts anything creative it could be that as well um so pile number one that was your reading short and sweet <laughs> thank you so much for watching and as always I wish you many blessings love and light and pile number three you guys had the pink rhodochrosite so you guys have the death card you have the eight of cups you have the Eight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Ooh. You know, I meant to, you might have been attracted to pile number one, pile number three, and I meant to say this in pile number one as well, but um, I think I forgot to say it. If you listen to pile number one, you might also be hearing some news about something that ended. And I think that's what you guys hear. There's two things that I see here. You take it as it resonates, okay? You might be getting some news hearing that something has ended and someone has walked away from something. Um, it's something to do with divine timing, like this has all been about divine timing, like it is the correct timing now for this to come in. Um, probably because you yourself have maybe walked away from something or you finally released something. Um, if that doesn't resonate for you, it could also be like I said with the death card and the eight of cups, it's like you're releasing yourself from something. You know, you're walking away from something and you're freeing yourself. And that's probably when this new person's going to come in. 
could also be a job though you know if you're not interested in love this could be about freeing yourself from a job it's like something that's not serving you okay um but i think for most of you like this is like you're gonna hear about something like someone's walked away from something or someone's ended something okay so that is your message pile number three i hope it was useful thank you so much for watching and as always i wish you many blessings love and light take care